Hello colorists, welcome to Pencil Stash, a weekly show all about coloring. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to get all the new content, and be sure to hit that like button if you're enjoying my videos. Hey guys, today we are going to talk about what the heck I mean by feathering. And I say this a lot in my videos to feather the two colors together to ensure smooth transition. And that's exactly the desired effect. But today I'm actually going to separate that technique out and show you exactly what I mean by feathering. So to start, I guess I'll just explain that like feathering is like taking one thing and taking another thing and then weaving them together so that they look like one cohesive unit. So this kind of area of overlap would be feathering things together. That's kind of the best way that I can explain it. And so today we're going to take a couple of colors and I'm going to just give you some demonstrations on feathering. And we're just gonna solely focus on that technique today. We're not gonna do a page, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna do a little mini vid given that it is Thanksgiving holiday week. Uh, so just something for you guys to practice and just something for you to kind of hone in on um, as feathering is actually one of the best techniques that you can do for uh, gradient effects and blending and shading and it just kind of goes into into all of it. So let's start. So let's take a practice page and I have a gradient of colors here. Light purple, medium purple, and dark purple. And I'm gonna start with my lightest color. And let's just do, let's just do this leaf here. And I just want the tip here to be nice light. Again, I'm using very light pressure here. Yeah. Now I'm gonna take my medium purple and I'm gonna not only continue where I had left off, I'm also gonna go over the areas just slightly of my light color. Now I'll take my darkest purple and I'll do the same. And again, just very light pressure. Okay, so you can see I've got my definite, definite darkest purple. I have my medium toned purple and then I have my light purple. And then there's this transition area here and then this transition area here. And it kind of creates five different colors that go from a nice gradient of dark to light. And I could do a couple of things here. I could kind of go over them again just to make sure that they're all nice and, and filled in. I have a couple of white spaces here, but I'm just gonna take my blender. And if you don't have one of these, this is the Colorless Blender Pencil by Prismacolor. And I am just going to go in with my, actually, hang on. Make sure it's nice and sharp. And I'm just going to start from light and I'm gonna try not to push too much dark into my light because I want this to stay nice and true. But I'm just going to blend these together just nice and soft. If you don't have a blender pencil, you can also use a white pencil or 
You can even go over all three of your colors with your lightest color that you use. So in this case, I would use that same light purple that I started with. Now you are gonna add a little bit more color that way, but since it's the lightest color, it doesn't impact it too much. Um, but that is another option for you, and you can kind of play around with what kind of looks you like best. So there we go. That is what I mean by feathering. And you don't always have to use, um, you know, like colors in the same range. Like here, you know, you don't have to use just all ranges of purple. I'll kind of show you, you know, a little bit of what I'm talking about. You can kind of go from like a light green to kind of a medium bluish green all the way to a blue. So let's see what happens with this one. The key is to really use light pressure because you can always build more on top of it. It's very difficult to kind of back off from uh, adding too much pigment to your page. So see, here's my line, and I'm just going over it just a little bit, and I am using super light pressure. Now I'll go all the way to my blue. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to show you what that looks like. I'm going to go over the entire area with my lightest green. See how it's adding all that color? Let's do one more technique just to show you how you can feather two completely opposite colors, um, you know, uh, just to create that nice seamless transition. In this one, I'm very traditionally going to feather it in. So I'm going to start with my yellow and I'm just going to follow this sort of center line here, sort of create some nice Kind of tendrils. And then what I'm going to do with my red is I'm just going to sort of fill in those spaces here. And I am overlapping. I know it's kind of hard to see. Very light pressure. But you see,
see how they're sort of mixing there in the middle? I'm just going to go back in with my yellow. Okay, now I'm going to take my blender and I'm going to start with my yellow and I'm going to push it towards the red. So now you have some very clear areas of red and yellow and even some orange. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. It helps new folks find my channel. And don't forget those items that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Check out the Nebula Camera Shop on Etsy for handcrafted camera straps, and don't forget to enter the drawing for the Barn Quilts coloring book. To subscribe to Pencil Stash, hit that circle in the center of your screen, and if you want to watch more videos of my coloring tutorials, you can either follow the video link on your screen or visit my channel to pick one of your own. Thanks again for watching today, guys. I will see you next time.